12.8%, Yvette Cooper on 11.8%, and Andy Burnham on 12.3%. So really, so far, according to our pulse, Jeremy Corbyn's been dominating. So that's what you think, but what about the experts? What do they think? We've got a couple of political supremos that we were talking to earlier on. You both sat in and listened to the debate, didn't you? Uh, of course, from the Huff Post, Owen Bennett, and also James Dodworth, the editor of Left Foot Forward. What do you think? Um, I thought, um, as we've seen pre in previous debates, I think simple messages played very well with the audience. That helps Jeremy Corbyn and not so much the other candidates, especially um, Liz Kendall and Yvette Cooper. I thought Andy Burnham upped his game significantly on on previous recent debates. Um, I was slightly shocked at the uh, how left-wing, if you like, the audience was, in that when uh, Liz Kendall said the words sound public finances, a huge sigh seemed to go up um, around the room, which um, was not something I'm used to um, in the Labour Party in, in recent years. But Corbyn certainly has the audience with him, doesn't he? Yeah, the audience is split between Corbyn and Burnham. Burnham's getting quite an easy ride from the audience, actually. They're cheering him. Maybe it's, it's the northern thing, but even when he walked out, he, he got a big round of applause. Um, I think Burnham actually has raised his game, but there's some point when he gets a bit confusing. At one point, was he putting the people first, the party first, the country first, the votes first? I wasn't quite sure what he was saying. But when he made the point he about... He was trying to fix all the things he said previously that he's been criticised for. Yeah, he's, you know, flip-flopping, I think, as he used to call it for David Cameron. I think his answer on uh, the Tony Blair issue was very good, yeah. saying if we don't get into power, we let down millions of people, the Labour point of view. But Liz Kendall, I mean, you've got to take your hat off Liz Kendall. She goes into these environments. She knows that what she's saying is not to the activists. It's to the people watching the television the voters and she sticks to her guns and she doesn't change her message and she thinks this is what the people want to hear and you know she for me I've been quite impressed with her tonight Yvette Cooper a little bit quiet and Liz Kendall for example was the only one of the candidates who brought up around the refu refugee crisis the root cause of it which is ISIS in, in Syria and Iraq um, she was the only one who mentioned that and, and we do need to deal with that as a root cause if we want to stem this, this refugee crisis. Migration playing strong but of course Yvette Cooper is the one that's leading the charge on that one. I thought it was interesting that Andy Burnham started talking about what he would do if he was Prime Minister. Yvette Cooper was actually able to point out what she's been able to do just from being involved in this leadership race because she did kick off this whole thing with a speech a couple of days ago about councils taking 10,000 more uh, refugees in and that seemed to be, along with the, obviously the tragic picture, that seems to be what's shifted the political view a little bit. I think that she's got, you know, it's a bit of a win for her on this narrative. Whereas Andy Burnham was saying what he would do, Becky was actually done something, I think. What do they have to do in the next half? I think, I think the other candidates have to convince the audience that they're the only ones who can who can win power. And also, that it's all very well Jeremy talking about how we need to reduce inequality, but how do you actually do it? I think. Everyone in the Labour Party wants to live in a more equal society. Everyone wants to live in a more peaceful world. But do you have the toolkit to, to make that come about? I think they need to go much more Jeremy Corbyn's economic plans. Jeremy